Let's talk about tips for young entrepreneurs and how to be successful in business as a young entrepreneur. What is up, Underdog Fam? My name is Zachary Babcock. Welcome back to the channel where we talk about how to level the playing field for underdog entrepreneurs so we can quickly ramp up our business to six and seven figures. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button, tap the bell notifications. That way you don't miss anything. And we are getting started right now. My name is Zachary Babcock. Yeah, you know, it's not. And I'm glad that you mentioned it. I'm, and, I'm, and I love the message of the underdog because it's not all perfect. You know, I, I love this. I love this. Um, I try to go through this exercise and I encourage people to go through it. Now, just kind of imagine all your listeners for the moment where are you? maybe you're driving in the car right now. Maybe you can imagine or you're you happen to be driving down your main street or your state street or whatever it's called, center street, or, and just look at, there's a business, there's a business, there's a business, there's a business, there's a business. And, and then there's another business and then there's another business. And then you drive down the next street and there's another business over there and you drive down the highway and there's signs and there's businesses all over the place. They all started with an entrepreneur, every one of them, every one of them had a dream. And, and you think, well, where does that go? Where, where does that go to? And, and then you can say, well, schools. Okay, but what's the purpose of the schools? I know we'd like to believe the pure purpose is to, is to learn and to educate. True, yes. But what are we telling? You know, we're basically saying you're getting an education so you can get a job. Well, where are you going to get the job? They ultimately had to start with an entrepreneur somewhere. Whether it be Apple, and anyone's ever, I'm not telling you, a book, Steve Jobs, the book is like crazy cool. I mean, when you look at the history of what that guy went through to bring us this device right here, the, the headphones that I'm talking to you on right now, I mean, just crazy what, the, what, what, what he went through, and we depend on it, you know? So anyways, so what I, like to, I, like to, I like to then look at that store and I say, what did that person go through so that I have the benefit of stopping and grabbing whatever I have to grab there? It's a really interesting thought when you start to kind of go there. What did they go through? And what kept them strong during the dark moments? Because you know, Zachary, as an, as an entrepreneur, as an underdog, you, there's those dark moments. There's the moments where you're just like, and I've listened to your speakers. I mean, you, you guys talk about, I can't remember who it was. One of them, I've listened to so many of your podcasts, but one guy was talking about, he's like had the dream of, he had to, had to, had to stop that business that he was in. He used to stop the job that he was in and he went out and, and tried and it was tough for the first year. It was really tough. And I'd imagine there were some dark moments. Heck, Venmo. I don't know if you ever, if you ever listened to the story of Venmo. Oh my gosh. Those guys that actually had the conversation with their employees, they shut this shut. already told them you're going to be laid off. Mm. And it worked out, you know, it worked out. And we, and now it's a word that we use Venmo. We just say, hey, just Venmo me. And yet that company almost didn't make it. And so the entrepreneur has to go through certain things, I believe. And I had to even discover that myself. Like, wow, what, what do I need to pump me up? Who's pumping me up as the entrepreneur? Who's pumping you up, Zachary? Now you happen to have some of these amazing guests that you have on and you guys feed off each other. And I know you're an avid reader, but this is all the stuff that I talk about because the entrepreneur has to do this. They have to feed this somehow. They have to feed themselves somehow. So I, to me, it's a, it's, it's a powerful thing because I, we depend on that entrepreneur. I'm so grateful every day for that entrepreneur, for that business, for that business, and what that person went through and what that person went through so that I can have this very cup that I'm sitting here right now. You know, it's a simple cup. Yeah, it's a cup. <laughs> but we take for granted the fact that we could just go to the store and buy this cup and that there's a whole series of events that have to take place for me to just grab this cup. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if I'm making sense here, but man, I get so passionate about the entrepreneur and I get so passionate about the underdog because the entrepreneur is the underdog and the underdog is the entrepreneur.
So I really love what Joe talked about there. You know, you gotta fill your cup up first before you can fill up others. Now this entrepreneur game, especially if you're uh, a young entrepreneur, just starting out in business, um, you know you're starting to see that how how lonely this road can be at times because you're, you know, especially when you're beginning out, you're, you're, you're getting everything off the ground. You're, um, you're constantly working in your business instead of on your business. You're doing both actually um, until you get these processes built out. And y- you gotta, the, the, out of my podcast, out of the out of the at, at the moment, out of the forty-seven people that I've interviewed on my podcast, and some wildly successful ones at that, um, like Joe, for instance, he's a, he's built a multi-billion-dollar-a-year company, um, you know, a beast, right? Out of every single person that I've interviewed on my podcast, they've all said at one point or another how they're very intentional about their circle. So, and I know that it's, it gets thrown around so much, but you literally are who you, who you surround yourself with. When I was hanging out with losers in, in life, that's what I was. And that's what led me to do over five years of my life in prison, over half a decade of my life in prison, longer than what most people do in high school, unless you flunk a bunch of times. And uh, when I started hanging out with winners, though, I, I became a winner. I started getting those results. So that's number one, you know, getting around the right people um, and I know it's a lonely journey, so the people that you do communicate with, you need to be around people that are going to support you and also call you out on your bullshit, too. They're going to tell you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. Number two, you know, you got you read books. If you're not a book reader, I mean, I don't know why not, but if you're, you know, some people don't read books, watch videos like this on YouTube. Uh, you can also find podcasts, episodes that you can listen to while you're driving and working out. Um, there's there's so many so many ways that you can fill your cup up, but you definitely need to constantly be pouring into yourself first and filling up your cup before you can fill up anybody else's. That's the golden nugget right there. And if you want to fill up your cup as far as business wise and quickly ramp up your business to six and seven figures, definitely download the Growth Engine Blueprint. It's linked up in the description below. Once again, it's called the Growth Engine Blueprint. It's going to show you exactly how to attract your ideal customers, how to craft compelling offers that they want and are willing to pull out their credit card and buy, how to publish engaging content that gets them into your funnel, and how to send them through your relationship path, also known as a customer journey, how to structure your offers and how to make more money in your business faster there's tutorial videos in that link there's downloadable worksheets that you can do to fill out and get crystal clear so you can quickly ramp your business up to six and seven figures as an underdog entrepreneur and I can't wait to see you winning as an underdog and I will see you in the next video we put them hours in to bring them dollars in uh-huh. it's that underdog empowerment we put them hours in to bring them dollars in. My name is Zachary Bell.